The Department of Justice states that half a million violent crimes happen each year in or around the home with guns. Now you need to protect your valuables, but you also need to protect your loved ones. We've done that in our project house. It all starts right here in this closet. Now before this room became a closet, we started out with the intent of making it a safe room. Not a safe room in the version of tornadoes and hurricanes, but a safe room from intruders and a place to keep your valuables locked up where even your kids can't get into them. Now we started by wrapping the whole room in steel mesh. The same steel mesh used by the ATF and the FBI. It's made by Amico, the Alabama's Metals Industry Corporation, and it is super strong. Nobody's gonna get through that system. It has little fasteners that actually hold it in place instead of nails. Put the fastener up there, you run a screw through it into the stud, and it actually stiffens all of the grid itself, so you have a much stronger room. We actually even put it up on the top and all four sides of the room. So we're really gonna have a nice room here. Now, also on our door frame, we're going with a thick special door, and we have steel mounted on the side of that with three openings in it. Now, these aren't for hinges, because this is the frame itself. These three places are for deadbolts. We're not gonna have just one deadbolt. We're gonna have a big one in the middle, one at the top, and one at the bottom. So nobody's gonna kick in this door once we're done. Now, we didn't just stop here and put up the drywall. There is something really special going on before we put up the drywall. Well, these green walls in our closet safe room is what's special, but it's not drywall. It's actually called Armor Core, and it's made by Waco Composites. Armor Core is bullet resistant, so it's going to make our safe room that much more safe. It comes in different levels. This first sheet is level one. It can resist an impact from a nine millimeter bullet. Where these two black circles are is where this was shot. Flip it over to the other side, it did not penetrate. Now the reason I'm wearing gloves is because this is made out of fiberglass. If you look at it real close, you can see it's like in a basket weave pattern, and there's layers and layers of it, and each layer of that fiberglass absorbs the impact and the energy from that bullet and slows the bullet down to where it can't even penetrate out the other side. Now that's level one. We went with level two in our safe room just to make it a little safer. You can see where it's shot three times, and this time it was done with a 357 Magnum to stop the shells from going all the way through. Over here, we have level three. It was shot three times by a uh, 44 Magnum, the Dirty Harry gun. Look on the back side, did not penetrate through. It's got sort of a ripple to it, but the bullets did not come through. Law enforcement agencies around the country use this stuff. It really works well. And then here we have level four. This was shot with a 30 caliber rifle. Very high impact gun. As you can see on the back side, it did not penetrate through. A little bit of a ridge to it, but it didn't go through. Now the nice thing is it makes our safe room that much safer. Someone can't shoot in here. But once we're finished, we just put drywall on it and it looks like any other room in the house. Well, the guys have now got the drywall up in our closet so we can finish off the interior any way that we like. It can be a conventional closet, a storage closet. We might even make a wine storage area in there as well. For our door, instead of going with steel, we're gonna do it one better. To actually put armor core in the door itself so an intruder can't shoot through the door and the great thing is with this wooden door they can shape it to look exactly like the rest of the doors in our house so an intruder would never know there was anything different until they started firing a gun at it